Good morning everyone and this is how I start my day. Let's have a brew. First thing, just reminiscing about Disneyland right now. This is a fab souvenir. It was for their 25th anniversary. Look how cute it is. Got to just turn it around so you can see it all. So cute. But it makes me miss Disneyland so, so much. Yeah, this is how I start my day with a lovely cup of tea. Which, may I add, it looks very milky in the camera. <laughs> so, it's breakfast time now and I'm going to have these wee Bixies, basically Weesha Bix. I've popped that in my bowl and I'll also be having a banana with it as well. go ahead and put some sugar on but because I'm healthy eating I'm gonna put the sweetener on and this is the one I use but I'm not fussed I use any and this is my breakfast for today but to be honest I have this every day for breakfast because it's my absolute favorite So I'm absolutely rubbish at drinking fluids, unless it's a cup of tea. I'm not even joking, if I don't put it in this bottle, I will probably only have two cups of tea and that would be it for fluids. So I fill up this bottle and it keeps me going. So while Delilah is sleeping, I've prepped all the ingredients that we're going to need for our meal tonight and I'm going to pop it all in the slow cooker. So you can see here, these are all the ingredients that I'll be using in this meal tonight. And then I've got my frozen onions because it's just so much easier, especially if it's going in the slow cooker. And I'll show you how to do it now. So I'm gonna just pour in the onions first. And then a tablespoonful of ginger, ginger paste, fresh ginger, ginger granules, whatever you'd like. I've got this ginger paste because this is the one I always get. Very lazy ginger paste. Next, I'm going to use two tablespoons of garlic granules. You can use garlic cloves or again, a garlic paste. I would usually use garlic paste, but I haven't actually got any in at the moment, so I'll just use garlic granules. And then I'm going to pop the curry powder in. We pick the mild curry powder from anywhere. This one just happens to be from Tesco. Um, probably two big spoonfuls. I may even add more. I've literally just got a little bit left at the bottom, so I'm going to chuck it all in. So that was probably about two and a half, two and a half, three spoonfuls. And then I'm using tomato puree. So I'm going to use a tablespoon full of that or two. You don't need to be strict on the amounts. It literally depends on how you like it. So I wouldn't worry too much. I'm just telling you what we do. It also depends on the amount of chicken. Chicken that you have. So go based on that as well. And then I'm going to put in the natural yogurt. just over half left in this natural yogurt so I've pretty much used all of it there's only a tiny bit left at the bottom but again it depends on how much you want to put in it any natural yogurt I tend to go for the fat free one because obviously there's very very low calories in this a tablespoon full of corn flour just gives it some thickness I'm going to just pop in a little bit of coriander ground, just a little sprinkle, and then I'm going to put some coconut oil in. So I'm just going to get a good spoonful of this. Last but not least, your chicken stock, any chicken stock, with 350 mils of water. I'll give it a mix. Tell you what though, it would help if I put the switch on. Otherwise, it's not going to cook it. So I've just defrosted 
half chicken last night and I've just cut it all off and I'm gonna pop it in now. So while the curry is in the slow cooker, I'm going to also get the broccoli ready for tonight as well because we will have broccoli with our curry and rice too. Excuse the bubbling in the background, I'm just prepping tea for tonight but this is my lunch for today so I'm going to be having a chicken salad wrap with chilli sauce so I've got my sweet and crunchy salad bag, a sweet chilli sauce that honestly tastes just like the McDonald's chilli sauce if you've had it you'll know what I mean, it's really nice from Home Bargains and it's about 99p or just under and then I'm going to be having leftover chicken from our roast yesterday and then that's all going to be inside these sweet potato wraps, which are delicious. It's half past twelve and <laughs> still full to the top. I told you I'm rubbish at drinking water, but I've got to drink a lot of that now because I need to drink a lot more fluids. So I've put that here to remind me with my lunch. I'm going to have an afternoon snack and I always pick fruit and today I'm going to go for some strawberries. Strawberries and let me show you. I have managed to pretty much finish one of these. I'm going to have the last little bit now and then I'm going to refill it and then try and follow the times so that it keeps me up to date rather than having the whole lot at once. <laughs> so just about to have tea and I'm going to heat up this collie rice because I'm having collie rice with my cinnamon wheel chicken and broccoli. And it's ready! And this is my tea for tonight. So I've got the Slim and World Chicken Curry, Broccoli and Collie Rice. Good evening, I've just made myself an options hot chocolate because I've really got a sweet tooth tonight and to finish off the day for my pudding I'm going to have one of these Rocky Road Hi-Fi bars and a hot chocolate, I want double chocolate tonight. That pretty much sums up my day. I'm gonna... Girls in bed, feet up, I've got my hot chocolate and I'm about to watch some Netflix. I hope you enjoyed my video, if you liked it please subscribe. And yeah, leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear some more healthy ideas for meals and some sweet treats too. So until next time, I'll see you all soon. Bye.